Welcome to Twin Peaks Into the Night, a Twin Peaks fan game made in the style of PlayStation horror video games such as Silent Hill, and also Resident Evil, and also, I don't know, uh, what's the one with the dinosaurs? Dino Crisis? You think Agent Dale Cooper could take a dinosaur? I think he could. Anyway, Twin Peaks Into the Night. Twin Peaks is one of my favorite television shows. It's inspired media that I like even more than Twin Peaks, like Deadly Premonition and uh, <laughs> Control, Alan Wake, that sort of thing. Anything by Remedy, really. Uh, Max Payne also has some Twin Peaks-inspired cinematography, and I enjoy it a lot. If David Lynch was here in this playthrough with me, I think he'd say something like, I'm banging so many redheads, Coop. I've got gingivitis, Coop. I'm sliding and smoothing all over the floor, Coop. It's wet and wild in here like a slip and slide, Coop. And God rest his soul. Uh, he's too busy making those cool It's Friday Once Again videos, and every time I see one of those, they make me a little bit happy. But Twin Peaks Into the Night is a game that I saw recently. I popped it up. I popped it up on itch.io, and I said, wow, this looks pretty neat. This looks pretty cool. I hope that it's great, and I hope that it rules. Downside, I will say to watching this playthrough versus playing the game yourself. Number one, I'm going to warn you, there are some segments with flashing lights, so be prepared for that. Number two, they used licensed music in this game, so I will have to cut it out as I go, which sucks, and that's why you're hearing the Deadly Premonition track right now instead of the uh, Twin Peaks soundtrack, which in itself is kind of funny that I'm using the Deadly Premonition soundtrack for this playthrough. Uh, rather than the Twin Peaks soundtrack, just because I don't want to get YouTube to rip me asunder, but I want more people to see this game and get a chance to play this game. So I'm using my pulpit, my place of privilege to help you see a game that might be pretty cool that you can try for free on itch.io. Oh, uh, I just, I, <laughs> I, I, I wish I didn't have to use the Deadly Premonition soundtrack, but sometimes it do be like that. Let's get into it, though. There is some fat dialogue at the beginning, which I will uh, let you experience wholly to yourselves. Also, shouts out to Blue Rose team for working on this. This is pretty freaking epic. February 24th. And I'm going to make like jokes over it, so I, <laughs> I really am just playing this, this so I have an excuse to use Columbus, my David Lynch Washington. voice. That's it. Only reason I'm really playing this. Discovered down by the shore, wrapped in plastic. Covered in blood. Too many secrets left hidden under the skin. Drowned below. That's Laura Palmer, by the way. Burning you may not know Laura Palmer. Monster. You may not watch the show, but you should watch the show so you can know who Laura Palmer is. Also, watch the movie Fire Walk with Me. Also, then watch The Return. You won't understand like 90% of it, but that's not the point. The point is to experience it, to breathe it in, man. Laura is the one. Only a few could stand the sadness, pulling up their tears, holding not to be devoured by the flames. Fire. Touched by the devilish one, it has bared many names, though few could see through its eyes. Did you know that this show was so popular that even the president was talking about the murder mis like the uh, murder mystery the aspect line. of this show Emerges at the time? The woods, it's crazy. Girl, like this show for season tracks. one was a, a, a pop Based culture sensation confused. back in the day Four for what it was. And, and then after that, it started to get a little weird. Uh, David Lynch left the project in season two and then came back for the end of it. And it got really, really out there and very, very odd for season two. I still think there are good bits in season two, mind you, but it is really weird once Lynch leaves. But they got all this smooth and perfectly. I also think it's really funny to mention um, that with Deadly Premonition, Sweary, the director for Deadly Premonition, uh, swears, Sweary swears that he did not take anything from Twin Peaks, that it's all mere coincidence. But you're going to be seeing... It is not mere coincidence. There's no goddamn way. And this guy knows a goddamn cup of coffee when he sees one. There is no goddamn way that is a mere coincidence that Deadly Premonition and Twin Peaks are so eerily similar. No goddamn way. See, Agent Cooper talks about W.C. Fields. Agent Francis York Morgan from Deadly Premonition talks about movies. We love movies.
I gotta get a big tank of gas. Damn fine cup of coffee and a damn good cherry pie. You always got to trust like a local diner when they have like the rotating pies. I always trust the rotating pies. Like, do not talk to me if you're trying to stop me from getting a rotating dessert. All right. I'm going to grab them out of the case. I'm going to be real confused about how to pay for them. I'm going to walk sheepishly up to the counter and say, excuse me, can I, how much is this? Um, how much is this piece of pie? Four forty nine. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I, I only have four thirty. Dude, can I run out to my car real quick and check? I found a couple extra pennies. Oh, you, you, 430 is okay? 435? That's fine. Thank you so much. You will never understand the joy, the pure joy of getting a dessert out of the rotating dessert spinner. I don't know what it's called. Like the, 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 the glass case that doesn't really exist anymore. I haven't seen one in years, but I see it in media sometime and I point at it and I pog face really hard. Dude. I need a clean Holy place, Diane, reasonably priced. Got to find out what kind of trees these are. Douglas firs, babe. They're Douglas firs. You can put that up in your house for Crimbus. Although, I mean, it's not the exact same as a Crimbus tree, but you could utilize it as a Crimbus tree. Look at that bird. Somebody spent time and effort and time on that goddamn bird. Shouts out to whoever modeled that bird. It's a real good bird. Damn fine bird. Damn fine. Now that's a damn fine saw. Damn fine. That's gonna be me at every object I see. Damn fine metal cutting saw. Damn fine. Now that's a damn fine telephone pole. Damn fine. I mean, that's an electric line. Tell. I just always called him a telephone pole. Who has a landline anymore? We love Kyle McLaughlin. Shouts out. Who does have a land like land? Did I say landmine earlier? Was a landmine anymore? Do you have a landmine in your house? Do you have a landline in your house? Do you? We used to have one uh, back when I had just left high school. My mom kept it for a while uh, because she would have telemarketers call and then have my little sister just answer. And then I don't, I don't know. She just messed with the telemarketers or something. Weird. But I mean, hey, everybody got a little weird moment in their home. Everybody got a weird family, right? Ain't nobody got a normal family. The more normal your family is, the more, like, terrified I am of you. Like, I grew up in a happy and healthy home. My parents never fought. They loved each other very much, and both of them paid for my college. You scare me, all right? You terrify me. If you grew up with, like, a quote-unquote normal upbringing with, like, a white picket fence out front, I, I, I'm just terrified of your power. You must be an incredibly functional adult. Or you might not be. I don't know. Having a healthy upbringing does not indicate whether or not you'll grow up to be a normal adult. I mean, I'm no psychologist. Oh, the one-armed man. He'd be looking for Bob. Man, smell those trees. Not from around here, are you? I just got into town. What are you waiting here for? What are you waiting for here, outside? I'm waiting for someone. A friend. Shouldn't be too long now. All right, I'll leave you to your business then. I'm also looking for a friend. Have you seen him? Hey there, Coop! Looks like David Bowie turned into a tea kettle again! All kinds of fucked up! Twin Peaks is more than just a spot of pine trees. We all know the darkness of the woods surrounding the town. Today, they find another meaning. Early this morning, on February 24th, 1989, a dead body was found down by Rocky Lakeshore by a man going fishing. Laura Palmer, a young 17-years-old girl, homecoming queen and a true symbol of youthful innocence, whom many of us knew and loved, will now be forever missed. Today is a sad day here in Twin Peaks, and the entire town is mourning her loss. But the morning cold was hiding something else. Renette Pulaski, a classmate of Laura, was discovered across the state line in a fugue state, covered in bruises. She was immediately transferred to the Calhoun Memorial Hospital here in Twin Peaks. Sheriff Truman, in charge of the investigation, did not comment on the case. 
An official announcement is expected by the end of the day. I feel really bad there. I was stifling a burp. Uh, <laughs> I was like, this is some heavy material here. It gets heavy in Twin Peaks. It gets real sad, real heavy, and real weird. The log lady. I call her the pog lady. Watch where you step. The owls are watching today. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. My log saw something that night. Really? What did it see? Ask it. Hmm. I thought so. One day my log will have something to say about this. Damn. Can't wait. I love that, uh, what is it? Alan Wake up. Oh, sorry. I gotta wait. I gotta, I can't leave. I can't explore the town. I love that Alan Wake has the, uh, what is it? The lantern lady? Right? Big, big fan. And then I think, God, what is, is it like a pot? It's like a cauldron, the cauldron woman. Oh, item. I found a shiny. A little something, a little something shiny. Got a matchbox. I'm gonna light a fire. I'm gonna start a fire in the hospital. Get everybody outside. Agent Dale Cooper, arsonist. What's in that briefcase? Oh, that's what I'm selling these days. It's my sample case. Shoes. Everybody needs shoes. Excuse me, but how did you lose your arm? What's this all about? I'm just a shoe salesman. Sorry, I was just being curious. Uh, car accident. I was on the road from Memphis to someplace selling pharmaceuticals. Pretty good job. I don't think we introduced ourselves. Gerard. Philip Gerard. Special Agent Dale Cooper. FBI. Here? Recent events. Can't tell much. I got to go now. Nice talking to you, Mr. Gerard. I'm looking for Bob. Have you seen he? He's scary. Smithers? Bob. Part of me wants to not, like, be goofy and silly with a game that has such serious subject matter, but another part of me is me, and I can't help myself. I'm a little freak. Come observe the local wildlife of the Ghostwood Forest. If only you like birds, you don't want to miss it. I don't like birds. <laughs> There's nothing like a good old rustic charm of a small potted plant. I feel like half of my enjoyment of this game is going to be Dale Cooper's observations on life. All right, let's talk to, uh, this dude. Ray Wise! My little girl. God, my baby. Oh, my baby Laura. My God, I can't believe it. Sir? Sir, would you excuse me? Huh? He's not listening. I need something to get his attention. Sir? Ah, uh, maybe... Maybe with my FBI badge. Maybe if I use the matchstick on him. You like fire? Doesn't like fire. Let's use my badge. Sir, uh, Special Agent Dale Cooper, FBI. Uh, FBI, are you here to help my little girl? Are you Mr. Palmer? Leland, Leland Palmer, oh God, my baby. I'm sorry. Will you help us catch the bastard who did these horrors to my little girl? I can't promise anything for now, but I'm here to help. I'll let you know if we find anything. You have my word. Thank you, officer. Agent Cooper. Don't mention it. As I said, I'm here to help. Thank you, Agent Cooper. Oh, poor Leland. Could you tell me about Laura? My baby, she was all my life, the apple of my eye. The sweetest child we could ever dream of. Twin Peaks is a small town. Everyone knows. You used to know Laura. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I think. I, I have to handle this. Here's a picture of her. Laura picture! Hell yeah! Isn't she sweet? I should leave him alone for now. Leave him to his grief. But is that a... Is that a... Is that a cup of coffee I spot? Am I about to be riddled with the demon known as caffeinated beverage? Yes! Can't wait to drink. Can't wait to sip. Will he say it? Damn good coffee! I may be able to save my progression here in a future relief. We can only hope. What about the snack witch machine? What do we got here? Eats. I'm not hungry for now. But what if you were hungry? What if there was a cherry pie in there, Agent Dale Cooper? Would you be hungry for that then? All right, let's talk to receptionist. Welcome, can I help you? Special Agent Dale Cooper, FBI. I'm supposed to meet with the Sheriff Harry S. Truman. Oh, you must be here about those girls. About those girls. Could you tell me more about those girls? Ronette is quiet girl. Never, never had the chance to really know her. She was brought here nearly unconscious, all covered in wounds about those girls. But the doctor said her condition was stabilizing about those girls. The other girl. 
What happened to the other girl? Laura? She used to be so sweet. Why should this happen to her? When I saw her like that, it was so... I'm sorry, it's just too much emotion. Where is the intensive care department? It's on the second floor. Take the elevator from here and it should be the first on your right. Oakley doakley. All right, let's go talk to some other people and learn more about the town. What we got up here? Every day is a delicious slice of pie waiting for you at the double R. Cherry, blueberry, have a taste. God, I hope I can. How could I resist? What this scary? Why does this look like twisted metal? In a few weeks, we'll stand the 20th anniversary of Miss Twin Peaks. We have something special this year. You definitely don't want to miss it. What else they got on the wall? Oh, okay, that's just it. That one looks scary. I don't know why, but it, I, I can't like quite make out that image, but it looks like a bunch of low poly modeled clowns all standing in front of a gate waiting for me to come in. Like they're going to rip me asunder. Just rip me apart like wet tissue paper. Like clowns are wont to do. All right, who this guy? I've been waiting here for three hours to think they forgot me. What is it? Haven't you heard? Who could believe this would happen in such a peaceful town? But I don't want to talk about it. I've got enough problems as it is. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for permission to visit my daughter. She had a car accident last night. I'm sorry. I came as fast as I could. Now I'm stuck here and no one would let me see her. Is she all right? The doctors say she's out of trouble, but I won't rest until I see her. Anna, I hope you're all right. All right, that's it. Can I get a snack from this machine? I could definitely use some hot coffee. We already got some. You're brimming with coffee. Will he say anything about the fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher, use on wood, paper, and textile. Don't use it on metal! Don't do it. You're gonna make the metal expand and then explode. <laughs> well, if you're into that, you might want to do that. Piles of laundry. They seem to be very busy today. A lot of clothes. These are the hospital laundry supplies. Hey, do you have any bleach? I'm a thirsty boy, and I'd love a damn fine cup of bleach. Damn fine! There's still so much laundry to do. This might take me all afternoon. I am so tired. It's like this day will never end. There's still so much laundry to do. This might take me all afternoon. I'm so tired. It's like this day will never end. That's some riveting dialogue right there. Remember when Agent Dale Cooper walks into the laundry room in the hospital? And then he says, Hey, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Should I put pink in with my whites? No? Bad idea? All right, good. Now I know. I know better now. Did you see that girl earlier this morning? You mean that strange woman who always walks around with a log? No, silly. That dead girl the sheriff brought in. Oh, that girl. Poor thing. She was so pretty. What could have happened to her? Who knows? She was all covered in blood when they brought her in. Who could do such a thing? Who could? Who could do such a thing? A uh, freaked up evil spirit, maybe? Something really fucked up? Evil guy? Silly guy? Bad guy? Who the freak knows? All I know is, it's a bad guy. And it's a bad day for the town of Twin Peaks. Let's pop over here. Why does that man look like it? Oh, what is this? Hmm. Interesting. Look at the fucking kicks. Wait a minute. He moonwalking? We got moonwalking real? I love tank controls. I know some people say I hate tank controls. I love tank controls. You get to do this. Oh, you can tell by the way I'm on my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. I can't dance. You can't see no time and day. My money, my name, my name, my name, my name. Probably should. Uh, you know what? Better reference is just the Tom Green movie, Freddy Got Fingered, where he puts on the backwards clothes and then he says he's the backwards man and then he walks backwards faster than you can. Remember that? Do you think David Lynch has seen Freddy Got Fingered? David Lynch is in the Cleveland show, so it's possible that he could have seen it. I wonder what he'd say. Tom Green is a tour de force. His movie makes me freaking laugh. I'm shitting and farting, pooping and crying. This world was built for me, Coop. I am him. I will be him. I will continue to be him. They must have amnesia, Coop. They forgot I'm him. Oh, is this the doctor from... Is this the guy who plays the doctor in uh, Friday the 13th or, or Halloween? One of the two. One of the two big guy who kill people movie and they wear a mask. One of those many movie where big guy, he kill people, he wear a mask. Because I think he's also in Phenomena, which is in uh, like a... Um, uh, what's the best way to put this? A movie 
where a lady talks to bugs and a chimpanzee, like, kills a woman by stabbing the ever-loving shit out of her. I think it's a giallo film. It's been a hard day's night. You were here this morning? I wish I wasn't. I will never forget what I saw. What happened to those girls? My daughter goes to the same high school, you know. To think that this kind of horrors could have happened to her. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like talking about it. Okay, bye. I gotta go up the elevator, talk to Harry. It's Harry time. Let me double check with the receptionist. Where's the intensive care department? All right, we cool. And then what this door? Uh, oh, archive room is locked. I should ask around here for access. Thog, talk to me. Tell me your secrets. Tell me the secrets that dwell in the grass. You know, from here, the guy sitting on the couch looks like Ben's uncle. From Ben 10, you know, if I if I had the Omnitrix, call me Bren 10. They kind of look like Uncle Max. Is that his name? Just from far away. Uncle Max or uh, Lieutenant Surge from Small Soldiers. I'd be remiss to not mention that from here, his flat top reminds me of Small so Soldiers. I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that. You needed to know. I had to tell you. Oh, they let me in. Give me key for archives room. I want to look at lore. Posting that lore a Palmer. Get it? Because lore, Laura Palmer, videos game. Uh, Laura Palmer, early this morning, the dead body of a young girl presumed to be Laura Palmer was noticed by the shore and reported to the authorities. Shortly after, the body was admitted to the hospital morgue while the father of the alleged victim, Leland Palmer, came to confirm her identity. The cause of death has yet to be determined. And then Renette Pulaski. This morning, Renette Pulaski was found missing by her parents before being reported a few miles from here, wandering in a daze. Her body is covered in bruises and numerous hematomas, while her psychological condition suggests neurological damages. We are requesting the use of additional equipment for diagnosing and treating her condition. Rot it. Okay, so we got the admission log. What else we got over here? This document is dated today. Yeah. Uh, to the attention of nursing staff, please be informed that an FBI special agent will arrive today in Twin Peaks in order to conduct an official investigation on the recent disappearance of Renette Pulaski and the tragic death of Laura Palmer. Sheriff Harry S. Truman will be on hand to welcome and assist him during his visit here at Calhoun Memorial Hospital. We are counting on your full cooperation to receive and assist them in the best possible way. I wonder if they ever finish this game, if it's just going to be seasons one and two, or if they're going to give us a full Mr. Jackpot segment. That's my favorite part of the return, is when Cooper walks up to, uh, just like walks up to, I don't know, like slot machines, and then he just presses buttons on them, and Jim Belushi is there, and he just, Mr. Jackpots, all of them. Real good bit. A lot of really freaking awesome scenes in Twin Peaks The Return. I love the episode that is just, there's an entire episode of Twin Peaks The Return that is just a slow zoom on a nuclear explosion because evil. And it's so stupid, but amazing. And I love it every time I think about it. Oh, you know, one thing I will say about tank controls in newer PSX inspired horror video games, they don't have the static spin. They're always doing the movement animation. It's not the static spin. Harry, is it Harry or Henry? Harry, yeah, Harry in Silent Hill 1 has a static spin, and I love that. I always feel like when it comes to these games, um, they're a mixture of Resident Evil and uh, Silent Hill and sometimes a little bit of Parasite Eve and, you know, other PSX horror games that I've, like Kudelka. You're gonna bring up Kudelka in the comments to try to own me? I know what Kudelka is. Uh, so these other PSX-inspired video games tend to take from kind of as much as they can. Uh, and sometimes it works out really well. I will say, I'm happy that there's not an inventory limit, because I feel like that's my biggest problem with certain PSX-inspired video games, as they take from Resident Evil the survival horror and management aspect of it, uh, but take everything else from Silent Hill. And Silent Hill doesn't have an inventory limit. It's one of my biggest pet peeves, is if you're doing something Silent Hill inspired, it doesn't need to have a limited inventory because Silent Hill has so many puzzle items, you're gonna be running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Resident Evil also has a lot of puzzle items, but it's built from the ground up to include that inventory. I don't know. 
There's a there's a mixture of that. That's why Signalis doesn't work for me as well. Although I should go back and play that one at some point because I, I might just be being a big baby. Uh, Truman. Dale Cooper, FBI. Pleasure. Good to meet you. Any trouble finding? Strong you? handshake. No, no, that should be fine. I came out over Highway Two near Lewis Fork. I stopped at a little place called the Lamplighter Inn. I had a slice of cherry pie. Incredible. Well, I'll tell you, we're sure glad to have the FBI. Stopped at a place called uh, Little Lamplight. Met uh, Mayor McCready there. Cool kid, cool kid. The world's entirely destroyed. Everything's all kinds of messed up here. stop you in the hallway here for just a second. There's a few things that we got to get straight right off the bat. I learned about this the hard way. It's best to talk about it up front. When the Bureau gets called in, the Bureau's in charge. Now, you're going to be working for me. Sometimes local Now, listen here, Harry. I have you by the balls. I have your balls right here in my hand. Your balls are like the balls and orbs from David Bowie's Labyrinth. I'm playing with your balls, Harry. Your balls are mine, Harry. Douglas Furs. Douglas Furs! Can someone get me a copy of the coroner's report on the dead girl? Well, the autopsy hasn't been done yet. But I'll take you downstairs to the morgue when we're finished here. We only have like three doctors, and uh, two of them are on holiday. Oh, is this uh, Jacoby's room? I blunder. Ah, locked. Ah, yeah, of course, I see the Hawaiian woman. Uh, Jacoby has a really good bit in the return where he has like golden shovels and he's shoveling himself out of the shit and then selling the golden shovels to people. Love that for him. Wonder if we'll get to see James. Love to see James. Hi. Are you the FBI, a special agent who came here to help us? It's a pleasure to have you with us. <clears throat> I don't know why Rick and Morty that guy. Such events don't happen every day in Twin Peaks. We're glad you're here. What were you discussing with Sheriff Truman before I arrived? He asked me for access to the morgue so you could examine the body of the victim. Did you grant it? Of course, I have no reason to refuse. Your help is welcome here. Thank you. I have so much paperwork to do. Sheriff Truman will lead you to the morgue downstairs. I have so much paperwork to do. Man's be filled with papers. He gotta Xerox those papers. He gotta photocopy those papers. He gotta build himself a little paper carnival. All right, let's be talking. Good evening, Special Agent Dale Cooper, FBI. We'd like to see Runette Pulaski, if that's possible. Of course, she must be with Dr. Shelby in her room. It's the first on your right behind the desk. Thank you. All right, let's go. We go and see Renette Pulaski and see what horrible thing has happened to her. Probably something really horrible. Seems that a young couple had a car accident last night, not far from here. Oh, did I read the noose? Uh, okay, just same thing, got it. Just a little newspaper on they. All right, let's get to talking to Renette if we can. Tell me your secrets, Renette. Why do their models look so different, I feel, to Dale and Harry's? They have a very orbular head, I feel, on the, um, uh, the women, I guess? And then a very sharp head on the guys. Hmm, interesting. I must be just like a stylistic choice. Dr. Shelby, this is FBI Agent Cooper. Doctor, how's the girl? She's in shock, suffering from exposure. Um, can I question her? I'd like to question her. This girl doesn't even know where she is, or if she is. What exactly are you saying? We need a CAT scan, and we are not equipped for that here. My opinion, she may have neurological damage. She's just not responsive at all. Uh, examine her. I'd like to examine her fingers. All right. Does she have a little letter under her fingers? They've already scraped for particles. Nah, that's not what I'm looking for. No, no, there's nothing here. Not a thing. Oh, back to voice lines. Ronnie? Renette? Huh? She fainted. We should let her rest. She went through a lot in the past few hours. Sure. And I'm out of here. A lot of shish happened there. Oh, we got the TV. They got the real TV. It worky. Huh? Oh my god. He's getting owned. Our marriage is in the past. Experience is a great 
and bitter teacher. Oh my god, they're getting owned. Alright, I don't want to watch the whole TV. If I watch the whole TV, I'm going to be like entranced there for the entire playthrough and I'm just going to be watching it. Is that a, uh, what is that, Invitation to Love? Poor girl, I never thought something like this would happen around here. Any suspect in mind? A couple of small-time kids, but nothing like this. For now, let's go downstairs, take a look at that dead body in the morgue. About those girls? Yeah. We're gonna talk about those girls. About those girls? Yeah. Harry and I, we're gonna talk about those girls. Let's go. Me and Harry uncovering all the secrets. Pull them out of the water and big mouth. Got a big mouth and starts talking to them. Oh, it's Dr. Jacoby! Hello, Dr. Jacoby. You talking about he fish? Kind of like how the doctor in Alan Wake talks on the radio about he fish. Harry, Dr. Jacoby. Terrible, terrible tragedy. Yes. <laughs> Look at him. Look at me. This is Special Agent Dale Cooper. Oh, Gary Cooper? Agent Cooper. Agent FBI. Right. Dr. Lawrence Jacoby, Agent Cooper. Laura was a patient of mine. Listen, you're on your way to the morgue now. Do you mind if I join you? Yes, I do. Why would you want to? It's sort of against procedure, Doctor. Well, no offense. I, 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 I thought I could be of some help. You still could be. At another time. Oh, I, I, I understand completely. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Laura's, uh, Laura's parents, they, they didn't know that she was seeing me. If you change your mind, I'll be in my office. Okay, bye, Dr. Jacoby. This guy's a psychiatrist? Huh. What kind of quack is he? Yeah. Kind of a cracked quack, if, we, if you will. He'd be a little bit goofy, but he'd get inside the mind and change it up a little bit. Alchemically. He'd brew in many, uh, many a psychology potion. Would it be crazy if you went to a psychologist and they just had a big, like, alchemist table and, like, a mortar and pestle? They were like, let me brew you a tincture. This will take the edge off of many a thing. They'd be like, thank you for the potion. I love being strong and full of psychology potion. Ah, Laura Palmer. Oh, I like how the hair is done, like as a texture on the sheet. That's neat. That's really neat. I like, my favorite thing about PSX Horror is how they do and transition uh, their, their ideas, basically, to the PlayStation format, the lower poly format. And a lot of the time, like, PSX Horror, I feel, uh, still doesn't quite capture that feeling of playing on a PlayStation. Uh, but it always gets damn close, right? Damn close. Sheriff, I'd like to examine her body, and I'm gonna need your assistance. All right, where should we start? Oh, would that thing be sparkly and shiny? Give me. It was a used tweezer. Do you take it? Yes. There's also a bottle over there. I'm a puzzle master. You show me a PlayStation video game that I can't conquer, and then I will eventually conquer it. Through sheer force of will! There's a sterilizing agent. Do you take it? Yes. No, I take my flask out. My famous FBI flask. And then we... Gotta go into the Brendan Tory. You know what? I never got to inspect the Laura Palmer photo. 1989. Oh, you know what? Fire. Doesn't seem to work. Damn it. Fire. Maybe the matchbox is just here. Inspect. There's only a few left. I wonder if that's going to be necessary for something. We'll see. Uh, do these. There we go. Alright, let's see those fingies. Let's see your hands. Here. There's something on our left hand, but I can't take it. Oh, wait, no, I gotta go back here into the inventory and then select use. Give me that little letter. This motherfucker think I'm playing Scrabble, when in actuality I'm playing Parcheesi. We'd scrape those nails when we brought her in. There it is, there it is, finally there it is. What? Diane, I'm at the Twin Peaks Twin County... County oh, oh, never mind, he's talking, I don't have to do it. Before the autopsy died, it's the same thing. I told you I had a feeling you'd see this again. Ring finger under the nail. See who left us. 
R. Diane, I think he might be a pirate. It is, in fact, talk like a pirate day. We're looking for a hook-handed man. Maybe somebody who would attack a car door or two. And he may be wearing a pirate hat. And he may have a parrot on his shoulder, Diane. Laura Dern, are you listening? Laura Dern, are you there? It's an R. It's an R. Diane, give this to Albert and his team. Don't go to Sam. Albert seems to have a little more on the ball. I need to bag and tag this. Okay, Cooper. You gonna let me in on whatever the hell is going on here? Sheriff, we got a lot to talk about. Well, you'll have all the time to tell me about this in the car. If you have anything to do before we leave, now is the time. I'll wait for you outside. In the test chamber. They're waiting for you, Coop! In the test chamber! <laughs> Now, Coop, you're, want, you're gonna wanna be careful with this sample, Coop. Oh, jeez, Coop. There's a reaction in the test chamber. Oh my god, Coop. There's alpha beta particles everywhere. Come on, Coop, go get your HEV suit on. I'm just playing this just so I can do the David Lynch voice. Something in there? Put your hand in there. I'm not gonna put my hand in it. Why, coward? Looks like Philip Gerard's briefcase. I shouldn't look into others' property. It's locked. I once met a man who had a briefcase full of soap. I wonder if there are really shoes in there. Hey, there's somebody there? No answer? Huh, jeez, better light a match. Damn, stinky. I never understood that. Why, like, uh, when somebody, like, I don't know, farts or shits, it's like, hooey, light a match. Is it for, like, the smoke to mask the cover of the stank or what? I never got it. Maybe I'm stupid. I leave. Oh, something's wrong. Oh, I snee. Something's very wrong indeed. Mimi bathroom boy now. Oh. Now do I check the toilet? Something down there. I'm not gonna, oh, okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come in here the first time I came in here. Check the door again. Open up. Maybe if I use my picture of Laura Palmer and summon him from the stall. What do I just put my head under the stall? Hey, just popping my head under. Hey, it's me, Special Agent Dale Cooper. You doing all right in here? Do you need any TP, any toilet paper? Are you shitting fine? How is it? Is it firm or wet and sloppy? This is very important now. You have to tell me if it's wet and sloppy. I'm an FBI agent, you see. A federal bowel inspector. You gotta tell me if it's wet and sloppy. And if it is wet and sloppy, we got ourselves a problem. Up oh, here are the flashing lights. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm getting... I'm getting all kinds of gunked up there. Definitely me when I'm filled to the brim with gunk. Red room! Out here between the boundaries of reality and unreality. Out here in the real. Oh, funny statue. Where am I? Who am I? What am I? It's crazy clown time. <laughs> I think often of David Lynch's song, Crazy Clown Time, you should go and check that out. Honestly, I'm just giving you a list of media that you should check out. Watch Twin Peaks. Watch uh, David Lynch talk to a monkey. Watch Crazy Clown Time. Go watch Phenomena. Give you some movie ideas, some recommendations if you're a little bored. But like, you can't watch Brent Daniel videos all day. You're gonna fill your tummy up. You're gonna get yourself sick. How, how we go, where we go, how we go. This way? Do I find Thingus? Do I get free Thingus? You've won a prize. Welcome to the scary red room. Ah, my prize. I was hoping it was the winning lucky duck number in the claw machine. Instead, I got the gold necklace. All right. I'm assuming we bring this back to the statue. There's the statue. I'd be out here exploring before somebody backwards talk at me. Uh, do I use the necklace on the statue? I'm thunking, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Yes! And then it look at me. Oh, that crazy. That thing's so smooth. Ed is now looking the other way. 
Okay. I'm learning. My brain is fat and fetid with knowledge. Hugely big brain. What this orb be do? A small globe. Looks like a miniature of Saturn. Anything else around here? Nope. For a second I thought that Dale Cooper was wearing little elf shoes. He is not wearing elf shoes. Gonna look at this statue. I have a strange feeling about this. Uh, well, yeah, everything a little goofy. All right, let me... I want to say here. I can swear that this statue is watching me. Oh, no, I got to sit in the Dale Cooper seat. Got it. Do you want to sit? I'd love to sit. Damn fine chair. Damn fine, in fact. We just waiting for somebody to miraculously appear. And then they say words to us in the funny, in the, like, the funny, like, backwards talk. Waiting for it. Where's the, uh, avatar of Laura Palmer, or whatever? Hello, there she is! Hi! Where am I? Where am I? This is the waiting room. The waiting room for... What? For me? What? Who are you? Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Are you Laura Palmer? I feel like I know her. Sometimes I dream of a man in a world of fire. She's filled with secrets. I'll see you again. Oh, meanwhile, ah, uh, meanwhile, sent me out into the void. I love the void, though. That's where I thrive. Here we go. We out here in the town. We out here in the sound. This is licensed music, of course, and this ends our playthrough here. Uh, hope y'all get a chance to go and play and download this game. I would recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I would give it a try. I always love seeing fan-inspired works of Twin Peaks. Uh, always love seeing PSX horror that feels right. And this one definitely feels right. Uh, I am sad that I have to remove some of the music because it's licensed for the YouTube video so I don't get kablamoed. But I thoroughly enjoyed this experience and would recommend it to anybody. Go watch Twin Peaks. Go play this game. Go and watch, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, the psych episode. There's an episode of psych, which is a show about a guy who pretends to be a psychic and he's a detective, which is just a Twin Peaks fan letter called like Dual Spires, which has Ray Wise and a bunch of other actors from Twin Peaks kind of reprising their roles in a way in a Twin Peaks inspired murder mystery episode of the show. I don't think it's fun. It's not very good, but it's definitely a fun uh, love letter to Twin Peaks overall. And I think it cool. I don't know. I was going to say something else and then I forgot. All right. I'm going to head out. I'm going to leave and I hope y'all have a good rest of your morning, noon or night. And I will see you the next time that I see you. Bye bye. Remember, if you have any video games to recommend for the uh, itch.io play, itch.io, itch.kaiu, itch.io playthrough series, uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see me play a specific itch game that is horror. It doesn't even have to be a horror video game. Uh, but if you see, like, an indie game or a demo that you like on Itch, I always love giving games a try, be it bad or good. I like experiencing new things, and this was definitely something that I am uh, glad I gave a chance to. Hope you all have a good rest of your day, and I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.